Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a holiday Goose Creek order. I did get this in a few weeks ago and I'm finally sharing it on my channel now that I've decorated a little bit for Christmas. I've got the little cozy fireplace video going and I finally have my Goose Creek order in. But I figured I'd do it now too because they are having such good Black Friday sales. So if you haven't already checked out Goose Creek, you definitely need to. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and haul what I got. I did pick up a few just like remainder Halloween candles and then I have a lot of holiday ones to share. So I'm super excited to sniff all of these. Let's start with the Halloween ones just to get them out the way. Um, the first one is Goosebumps Cupcake. This one is supposed to be raspberries and um, chocolate cupcakes, like devil's food cakes. I thought this would be great for right around like probably February maybe when it's starting to get a little warmer. Um, but last year Bath and Body Works had a chocolate covered cherry candle that I absolutely adored and this scent made me think of that. It smells really good. Definitely getting that raspberry like berry scent. It smells like a berry compote. It smells so delicious. And then I'm not really picking up like devil's food chocolate, but more like some sort of cake. Not really sure what kind of cake, but cake and raspberries. So it smells really good on cold and the packaging is super cute, but I'm definitely not gonna save this until next Halloween. I'm just gonna burn it in like February or springtime. Okay, and then the only other Halloween one that I have is the Hocus Pocus 2 Halloween night. I really had been dying to get one of these Hocus Pocus candles and I don't know if you can tell, but the packaging has like the, the book and like a few other things in like a really cool pattern. So I just thought that was really amazing. This one I'm definitely gonna save for next Halloween because it's Hocus Pocus, like of course I'm gonna save it. But this one is basically just their candy corn marshmallow scent. Um, they don't have scent notes on the bottom, but oh, just opening that, you could smell the marshmallow like immediately. I'm not even sure if I get candy corn, I just get marshmallow. But honestly, the only difference between candy corn and marshmallow, they're both made with sugar, but one has caramel in it. So I would say that I definitely get caramel and marshmallow. That smells so delicious. It's probably gonna be a lighter scent since it's a marshmallow scent, but I love marshmallow scents. So if I have to candle, if, the, if I have to put it in the crock, then I am totally fine with that. Okay, let's get into some Christmas scents. I'm so excited. Okay, the first Christmas scent that I have is Gingerbread Donut. Now this one is definitely like a fall into Christmas scent. Um, I feel like donuts really are year round, but more so in the fall are a good scent for the fall. But, um, ooh, that is very spicy. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is so spicy. I don't even get any gingerbread i just get sugary spice sugary spice wow that is so strong i feel like that's going to be a powerhouse i am however worried that these wicks are super close together so that's a little odd but that is the first christmas candle the next one i'm really excited about this is hot cocoa and peppermint i love these kinds of scents for all winter not just during christmas time in december um Ooh, yeah. Wow, that's really good. That is definitely like a mixture of twisted peppermint and hot cocoa and cream. It, it smells pretty similar to the hot cocoa, um, or to the, what is it, peppermint cocoa from Bath and Body Works. It smells very similar, but a little less like wintry peppermint and a little more sweet candy cane. Mmm, that is really good. Definitely like Swiss Miss Cocoa and candy canes. That's really what it smells like. Next, I got Cherry Cobbler, which I guess you could say is like a year-round scent. I think they put it both in the fall and in the Christmas um, lineup, but I thought this would go year-round if I didn't end up burning it now. I could always save it for like 4th of July as like an apple pie kind of scent. That is very strong, but super artificial. Um, the wicks, again, are kind of close together, but it definitely smells really artificial, but smells exactly like a Cherry Cobbler just like really artificial, but 
I hope it smells good when burning and doesn't give off that same like plasticky artificial scent. Okay, we have two left and I'm saving the best for last. So we have gingerbread milkshake, which I was so excited when this one came out. This packaging for one is gorgeous, so cute. And will be good, you know, year round, even if I don't finish it off before Christmas. But milkshake scents to me are so fun. This one, oh my gosh, this one's definitely milkshake. It's like that warm vanilla bean. It's not just vanilla. It's like vanilla bean paste. If you've ever had that, where like there's the specks of vanilla. It's so good. That's a really nice like frothy milk scent. Oh my gosh. I'm honestly not getting a lot of gingerbread. I'm not getting a lot of spice. Again, the wicks are kind of close together, um, but I'm really just getting milkshake. I'm not getting any spice. So hopefully on burning, it'll have some spice because if not, then this one's probably gonna be really light. Um, so I might have to end up putting it in the candle crock. We'll see, but that is gingerbread milkshake. It does smell like an amazing milkshake, but I don't really get any spice. Okay, last candle that I have here is chocolate drizzled popcorn. Oh, I'm so excited for this one, you guys. And I think what I did end up doing was like, I think it was a buy three, get four free deal. So I got all of those and then I got the Halloween night one by itself because that one was on sale on its own. So that's the deal I got. But anyways, chocolate drizzled popcorn. I've been dying over a popcorn scent for since last year when Bath & Body Works came out with like the kettle corn one. Um, in the fall time i think last year in 2021 but i did not get that one i just wasn't feeling it um and i had too many candles at the time that i didn't want to buy it but i really wanted to get chocolate drizzled popcorn because it's supposed to be that popcorn butter and chocolate mm. oh my gosh this is so good this is so accurate to this like this uh bowl of popcorn on the packaging i love their photo realistic packaging. I think it's so much fun. And I like that they have, usually all of their packaging is like a wraparound besides like this one and the gingerbread donut one. I really like their wraparound packaging. I think it's so cute. They could do a little more with the lids. It just says Goose Creek on here, Ooh, upside down, Goose Creek. Um, they could do like a Christmas lid, but that's probably how they keep the prices down. This really does smell like popcorn and like you melted chocolate on the stove and drizzled it over. That's exactly what it smells like. This smells so good. I hope this is super strong because this is gonna be so much fun to burn. Like what a novelty candle chocolate popcorn. Like that's so fun. Mm, oh my gosh, that one smells amazing. So I'll have to update you guys on that one. Um, I think I will do reviews of all of these in December just because I'm gonna try and do a daily upload schedule for December again. I did that a few years ago where I uploaded every day of December and it was like basically vlogmas, but it was just like a regular video, not a vlog every single day. So I think I'm gonna try and do that. So chocolate drizzled popcorn will definitely be reviewed. Um, gingerbread milkshake, hot cocoa and peppermint, and probably gingerbread donut as well. I'll probably review all four of those in the month of December. So look forward to that. But yeah, that is everything for the Goose Creek haul. Let me know down below. Have you guys ever tried Goose Creek? What do you think of them? Um, I've only ever done one haul before and I liked a few of the candles and some of the other ones I didn't really care for. So it's kind of hit or miss for me for Goose Creek, but that was last year in 2021. So I wanted to try them again, um, just in case, you know, formulas have changed. Maybe they've updated their, um, packaging, all that kind of stuff. Everything can change from year to year. So I wanted to give them another chance and it was a really good deal. So yeah, that's everything for my Goose Creek haul. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.